Welcome everyone, today we will be talking about unit testing with Visual Studio Community and Python test or PyTest. The tools that we will need are Visual Studio Community, Microsoft test that we already covered but we'll be using for review and comparing, and Python, more specifically PyTest. All of the links are available on the right, feel free to download any of them if you do not have them already. Today we'll be just creating a new Python project because we already created a Microsoft test project. So if you haven't created one, check one of our previous tests. One of the reasons why we are choosing PyTest specifically is again due to our interest in Open3D Engine. Microsoft also has uh, how to set up Python code or Python test with both unit test and PyTest. Don't confuse both of them, they are different in syntax and the, the libraries. There is also a learning path in Microsoft. It's a good way to get your hands dirty. You also have the official documentation of PyTest to show you how to install from PyTest forward. It does cover parameterized fixtures or pytest.mark.parameterize. They do not call it parameterized values or data rows. There's also some configuration regarding PyTest and this is their documentation, their official documentation. So we'll start right away and review the projects. We already created Microsoft projects, so if you haven't, go check our previous video. To start, you need to check if you already have Python installed. You also need pip. In order to install PyTest, you can't install it with Visual Studio, it's not included. You download the, you the latest Python version. Make sure you include pip in, during the installation and also make sure that you add python.x, the executable, to the Windows Path environment. Otherwise, you, the Visual Studio may not recognize and you, you will not be able to execute. Once it's done, you just open a command line or a PowerShell and you run pip install pytest because it will recognize Python to also recognize pip to also know where to find it because you set the path in the environment path. Now, the only thing that you need to install with Visual Studio Installer is the Python language support for Visual Studio. This is just to create a project and the templates uh, and also to recognize IntelliSense. It doesn't include Python itself, or pip, or pytest. Just an helper for the language. So now to create a new Python application, you create either a new solution or the existing solution, add new project, and select Python application. The option doesn't show up here. It's because you need to go to Visual Studio Installer and add the, the Python language support. Now you need to go to the project properties, select test and you need to select the test framework. In this case, we are reviewing PyTest, so you select PyTest. When you create the project, a Python file is created too. We advise you not to touch this Python file and don't change the startup uh, file. If you change it, Test Explorer will have difficulty in finding the the tests that you create. After that, you just save all, rebuild, debug, or run the test at least once in order to check if there is any kind of errors or if you forgot anything that is missing. Now, in order to check if PyTest is really inside the project, you can just press Solution Explorer, open the Python environment, and make sure that PyTest is inside. Now you should create a new folder based on their usual hierarchy. It is not a rule, but uh, it's kind of it's like a convention. So we create a new folder called tests. You just right click the project, add new folder, and you call it tests. Don't use caps lock. For some reason, Python tends to not use any kind of caps lock or upper as the first letter. Then inside you create test underscore and then the name of the of the test. But you need to set it as test underscore. 
if you do not do that, it will not recognize the test. So let's now start with the basics. The very, the most simple test that you can do is just define a test. In this case, it's test underscore answer, which is running the function x. The function x is not a test, it's just a normal um, definition or a normal function or a normal method. As you can see, the test explorer is immediately recognizing tests. We already have more than those basics. And notice that if you delete or remove temporarily the tests and save, the test explorer immediately recognizes that something was changed and it will remove it from the test explorer. You can right click it and just debug in order to run the tests individually or in group if you select the file the test underscore sample.py in this case the greens are the past the red did not pass the blue means that uh, you did not run it or you made the change and at that point it doesn't know if it is passing or not so in order to execute multiple times instead of making multiple tests it uses the pytest.mark.parameterize you need to make sure to import pytest otherwise it will not work the nomenclature again is arroba pytest.mark.parameterize then you have the parameters or the values next to it as you can see when comparing with pytest you can find the similarities it's not exactly the same but at least the concept um, or the theory or philosophy is uh, somewhat similar when I was debugging, uh, the order of the methods also does not matter in both C Sharp and Python or PyTest. So you can first call the test method or the function that you are uh, testing. Just remember that when you're using parameterized values, you need to import PyTest. The other simpler tests, you don't need to do that. Uh, the assert, the, the naming or the syntax is somewhat similar. There is some uh, documentation that states that the assert is somewhat more mature than Microsoft test. You can even compare the array as we can see in this test. When we try both Microsoft test and PyTest working in the same solution, you, both of them are recognized with Test Explorer. And again, the execution of the method occurs the, the exact same amount of times as the number of input values, which is to be expected. And uh, until now, I haven't found a better solution to do this. I think this is a good way to test the code. If you exclude one of the rows, the test, the test explorer also recognizes the changes um, once you save. And test explorer is. Uh, working way better than a few years ago. The only thing that I noticed was that Python is, uh, it chokes a little bit. Uh, the performance could be better. C Sharp and C++ are still more performant than Python. So regarding how to set up PyTest, that's what all we wanted to cover. We wanted to make a short video. So that's it for today. We'll see you in the next video.